I've been playing Rogue and games like it since the 80s. From Rogue to Zogbond to Azure Dreams, I went on countless adventures in the land of RNG. Then about a decade ago, gaming creators showed us that the formula found in Rogue could be applied to other types of games with mass appeal. Nowadays, we have countless roguelikes to choose from, but only the best roguelike RPGs make the cut on my list. On this show, I give each game a chance to show me what it's got. Success means that it secures a place on the wheel of Rogue, while failure means the game is banished, never to be seen again. The stakes could never be higher. Join me as I give today's game one hour to impress. Hello and welcome to One Hour to Impress. My name is Phil, aka JC Serpent from RPGamer.com, and I'm ready to give Neoverse a chance. Uh, this is uh, this is I, you know it's the video, as the introduction says. I got a lot of roguelike games on my list. If you hung out with me before, you know we've got the the Wheel of Rogue. And the Wheel of Rogue is uh, lots full, chocked full of, of, of all kinds of roguelikes and traditional roguelikes. I'm up to over three dozen. And uh, many of them, you know, there's some that I've played a lot and many of them I haven't played uh, too much. Some I played through the tutorial or an hour or two just to kind of get the base rules down. And then there's a few I haven't even played, played at all. Uh, and these things are coming out all the time. So I figured, you know, uh, we had a series back in RP Gamer back in the day called, you know, One Hour to Impress. So what better way to kind of, uh, you know, uh, to to uh, kind of pay homage to that to that series of videos we did a, year, a few years ago. Uh, but uh, but to come to, to resurrect it just for roguelikes for now. So this is One Hour to Impress, the roguelike edition. <laughs> Uh, I suppose. And I'm just going to pop these off here and there uh, where I have an extra hour because sometimes uh, this fits in well with my life because sometimes like tonight, I've got like an hour or so to kill. I don't want to do a full three hour stream. I don't want to jump into Child of Light and, and try to continue that because usually I like to have at least two hours for something like an RPG. But uh, an hour for a roguelite to see how I feel about it. That sounds like a great idea, right? So yes, uh, hype, Hero Harmony, definitely uh, hype, because uh, this is kind of like a, a little bit of a relaunch. We're going to give it a shot here, and then I can upload these to YouTube. So if you're, you'll see these later on YouTube. You might be watching this on YouTube right now. The power of time travel and the internet and videos and such. So one hour to impress, and today we are talking about... Neoverse, developed and published by Tito Games, available on Windows and Mac OS, released February 2020 uh, for uh, $19.99 on Steam, at least, uh, when I last checked. And 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 this is a deck building turn based roguelike game that you probably have never heard of before. Uh, this thing came out, as you can see on the date, this thing came out February. It was like actually later in February. Well, see, February 18th, if my memory serves correctly. That was right when things started to go south and the news started to break out a couple of weeks within that about the, you know, that, that thing we don't talk about from 2020. And, 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 and so uh, on top of that, this is a deck builder uh, in the vein, a lot of similarities to Slay the Spire. And, 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 and I, I don't know if there's going to be another deck building card game that's as good as Slay the Spire, but anything that comes out is immediately co compared to that. Add to that the fact, as you're going to see, this game really pushes a little bit more towards the graphical end of things. It's got some really nice graphics and a lot of hot looking ladies. So it's easy just at first a blush to take a look at this and say, it's just trying to rip off Slay the Spire, put some hot chicks and some better graphics on it, and sell millions of copies. But some of the reviews I've read say differently. So it's time for me to allow Neoverse uh, an hour uh, to convince me. Okay, and I have I have dipped my toe a little bit to get through the tutorials and stuff. Uh, so there's a little bit of data there, but but now we're really going to start a new run uh, with some basic knowledge. I'll explain as we go along and give it an hour to oppress. Uh, Durek says I still listen to Child of Light 
OST to cheer me up. Yeah, Child of Light is a really good cheer up game, and we're still gonna be. We still got. I've got like two sessions down. I probably got at least another three sessions of Child of Light before I beat it. Uh, but I'm gonna have a complete playthrough that's gonna be available here in our Twitch archives as well as over at uh, YouTube on our RP Gamer channel. If you're interested in our full uh, in my full uh, run with Child of Light, but let's jump into uh, Neoverse here. And uh, and here we go. Here is the overlay that most of you used to see. But we do have the ever so important one hour countdown timer. Shabam! There it is as it starts to tick away. And we give Neoverse one hour to impress us. So without further ado, we're going to jump into us. With only one hour to play, it's important that we don't waste too much time on different things here. Um and just jump into it. So that's what we're going to do. And did I mention hot looking ladies? I, I just, I, I don't, uh, yeah, that is definitely a thing here. And I don't know why my controller is also kind of, it's kind of weird to have a controller deal that also messes with your mouse. That's, that's a little weird. Alrighty. Uh, you get different costumes, apparently. Costume, costume, costume. Uh, and you've got different heroes. So yeah, you've got you got different outfits. Again, it's just kind of. I'm gonna use the mouse because I don't I don't know what this controller thing is doing. But yeah, it's it's obviously saying, oh oh my gosh, fan service, complete fan service. Uh, we're just cashing it in here. <laughs> I'm sold on the hot ladies. I might need an additional hour. <laughs> That's a good one, Peter. I need to do something similar to beat the backlog. I just read Paul's article earlier. I'm sold in hot ladies. I might need an additional hour. Yeah, just like all of my all of my shows, by the way, uh, I, I do these through uh, the vast, vast, vast majority of them through Twitch, which just means it's always going to be an interactive experience. Uh, so, yeah, there's three different ladies. Uh, obviously, I have not even unlocked this one yet, which doesn't look too hard, but... This one looks like your fast, nimbly type, and and then you have the big, huge, armored, gonna stand in your face, uh, lady type. So we're gonna go with the we're gonna go with the default here, and their starting deck. I I have no clue. We're just we're just gonna start with the, the basic here, and uh, it just kind of like a beginning of Slade Spire here. We get this little thing at the beginning that can help us out. We can increase our max hit points by five or receive a hundred gold. I'm gonna go for the gold. I do like my money. We're gonna make a decision and run with it. So. Where Slay the Spire would give me a big tree of different things I can do. This is just going to kind of give me a menu here. What, what, I mean, this is, I, I got no choice. Normal battle, clear stage within five turns. And if you do okay, you get to remove a card. I'm assuming I, I have a basic deck, I imagine. And removing those basic cards is, is kind of the guild. OMG shield hype. Yeah, there's, there's a shield. Oh, sorry. I didn't pick the shield lady. I didn't see your comment. Oh, well. Um, yeah, there's definitely a shield lady in here, which I would imagine is a more defensive deck. Now. I played the tutorial, so there are so so that this doesn't drag too much. We've only got an hour, but it does mean I also understand some of the base. So one of the big things is about the Slay the Spire is you do have this Battle Tech uh, combo dealy here, and it usually has one of three cards: red, blue, or yellow. Red are your attack cards; blue are your uh, defense cards. And and this is important because uh, because if you could do the cards in this order, uh, then you will uh, you will go into hyper mode and your next attack will be a critical attack automatically. So that's something different than Slay the Spire. Uh, and here we can see this enemy is going to gain six armor on his turn. So defending right now is not really a big deal. But if I do defend, I will be able to, to do a combo, get a critical hit. Furthermore, unlike Slay the Spire, I do believe that... Um, that guards uh, carry over from one turn to the next. It's really funny when you play with a mouse and your controller starts vibrating. Bad controller. Just we're just gonna unplug this controller thing here because it's it's starting to become a distraction. Uh, just to make sure that I unplug uh, the controller and not the headset, which would make this a very interesting stream, as my mouth would be talking and nothing would be happening. If you're joining me tonight, though, thank you so much. That must mean that you pay really close attention to Twitter, or um or 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 you 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 are a follower because this was very last minute and there's no other way you would know this is going on so congratulations you are awesome uh i appreciate it uh and i could do six attack here because this is normally a three attack but it's a critical hit so it's double damage so you can see it says deal three but it's going to do six up here um or i could wait till next turn 
and and rip off with more but we'll go ahead and do that in our turn uh, thanks to Twitter today. All right, Peter. Well, thank you for following uh, either me or RP Gamer on Twitter. And I don't even know if RP Gamer even had a chance to, to pick up on this. I'll be honest. I just fly the seat of the pants just threw this up there and said, you know what? Let's do this today. I queued up this video. I'm like, I, I, did you get to see the cool introduction I did, by the way, Peter? I put that gear, that introduction today. I felt very proud of myself. Uh, let's see. We are on the fire part of this. So we're going to do that. We're going to do that combo trigger i feel like i should do like the 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 what was it uh killer instinct C -c -c combo breaker except i'm doing it with triggers and stuff shaboom and thanks to doom scrolling too i guess i guess so uh so we won we get some rewards uh we're gonna get our skill points now that's another thing that's different uh let's just grab this and we can get a new card uh, sharp blade deals five damage, but it consumes, which means it's a one-time use card. Uh, radioactive shooting deals two damage, inflicts two radioactive. Radioactivity deals piercing damage at the end of player's turn and halves upon activation. Stackable. Uh, that looks kind of interesting. And then radioactive inflict three radioactive damage instantly to uh, an enemy. So, uh... I, 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 this is shooting, deals two damage. This is three. Oh, we'll just pick that and move on. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't watch it. Uh, didn't watch the visuals. I'm lurking about. Well, if you get a chance, uh, check out the, the brand new introduction. I could roll it right now. It would be kind of funny to roll that right now in the middle of the show. Battle. It was also reset the timer. I'll tell you what. I'll play it at the end. If you're still hanging out, I can play it at the end trigger a parry one time so now you get to pick you get to pick uh your next thing that you're going to do uh let's uh so we trigger a parry one time wait start a normal battle trigger a parry parries activate when you block an attack that leaves you with exactly zero armor when activate the enemy is unable to act during the next turn oh i didn't know that was a thing so if you trigger parry you get to remove a card uh, elite battle, start an elite battle, support a typical normal battle, but offers great rewards. Achieve one data store purchase, purchase cards, gain five mar armor at the beginning of the next battle. So, you know, both of those are pretty cool. I'm going to try the, the parry thing here and see if we can get okay. Uh, yeah, no, it's a little cool, quick, quick introduction for these, uh, for these uh, hour to impress deals. So we got two enemies. This guy's going to attack for three. This guy's going to defend for six. So we kind of know what the what the deal is going on there. Two reds and a blue will activate our most important combo meter. So two reds, and then a blue to uh, to gain some armor here. So we'll do that. C -c 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 combo, and then we got two blues. Uh, now, we know we can parry if we block exactly what they're going to inflict. Uh, that will break our combo unless we just end our turn early. Uh, and you know what? I mean, we haven't even started a combo yet. So I want to see what happens when we perfectly block. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and inflict radioactivity on this guy here because I'm attacking him last. You notice that when I didn't do what it wanted me to do, it kind of refreshed this up. And that's fine. Uh, I'm going to... Oh, no, not enough energy to use this. Uh, unstill removed from this battle at the end of turn or when used. Okay, whatever. We're going to shoot him. And then... Uh, oh, we still got an extra. We'll do three more damage to him. Then we're going to end our turn and we'll exactly parry. Parrying triggered! Oh, yeah, it totally just ended their turn and he doesn't get to act. So that's a very interesting mechanic in my little tutorial, uh, you know, play. I never saw that before. Apparently, if you just have enough block, his block carries over. So there's something to be said for just uh, accumulating a lot of block. But the, the, the reason against that is you, you can do cool things like that. Okay, we got a blue, a purple, a blue, a blue. So we'll start stacking up some defend. Then purple to inflict some more radioactivity. And then, which is essentially like poison uh, from Slay the Spire, I would think. And then a little red to attack him. Now I can blue. Uh, we'll gain three more armor. And then we'll be able to critically hit and take him out for another six. So you can kind of feel the Slay the Spire, you know, vibe here. But it is different enough. I mean, it is definitely feeling different enough. Like, that was pretty cool that you got the combos and you got the... 
So that's pretty cool. Oh, now he's 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 beefing up his defense here, which uh, you know that's going to add to how much damage he can take. But he's going to attack for three times three, so uh, we can attack and then defend. What's this? Gain three armor, receive one shoot card. That sounds exciting. Shooty card sounds awesome. Uh, and then we have, what, two blues here? But if we put more defense, we won't be able to stun him. But it, it, it impacts our combo, right? So, mm, I think I'll just shoot him. B -b Broken combo. I uh, wonder why that radioactivity didn't gang up on him. P -p -p Perry. So yeah, his turn. His turn got kind of broken there. That's interesting. That that's just kind of like a straight up game mechanic. So he he now gets no turn. Sucks to be him. Have a nice day. Oh, precision triggered. I wonder if precision was if you do exactly as much damage as they have shield. Uh, that's that's interesting. Okay, so we got some gold. We got some skill points. We got an item. We get to add another card. Add plus two shield and consume. Shield increases armor gained by defend cards for the player. Um, or enemy actions by for enemies by one per point. Decrease at the end of your turn. So it's like a one-time use card that can enhance your future blocks for a couple of turns. Steroids. Zero cost gains three shield. Look at those buttocks. I, I, is that okay? Is that okay to show? Anybody know if that's okay to show on Twitch? Is that okay? Is that all right? Uh, let's see here. Uh, from your understanding of the game, can it exist as a real card game? Uh, you know, I, I just played, I just, I'm just a little in dipping my toe into this. I think I would probably need to play more, but I think like Slate Aspire, I mean, it's really you against enemies and those enemies aren't necessarily using decks, right? The enemies are using attacks, uh, status ailments. I mean, you, they could be pulling it from an imaginary deck, but they don't actually use the same card mechanics that you do. It's not like Hearthstone where you're playing against an AI who's got a built deck and that reshuffles with you. Uh, and stuff so I mean if you had a setup where I think I've seen like card games before where the where a couple of players are playing against um, another and I want to use the word player but kind of think of it like a boss that's that's basically a separate deck maybe but yeah no I, I think it it's probably just best staying in as, as a video game deal two damage to all three enemies three times plus two overheat and overheat, you don't want to overheat because it puts dead cards in your hand, from what I understand. So overheating, kind of bad, but you can get rid of a heap by defending. Uh, so let me try these boosting shields here. There's a lot of card battlers uh, now. Yeah, uh, they're, they're definitely... I, I've got a few of them on the list here. We've got a couple that we will do on future one hour to impress. Uh, of course, we do have Slay the Spire... Which I'm debating whether I should do like one hour to impress on games that I know pretty well. I know Slay the Spire, no FTL. Those are obviously on my wheel of rogue. And I wonder if I should still do a show on those. Even though they're they're not really there. I'm not looking to be impressed. But maybe to impress you guys. Because they're good enough to be on my list. Uh, and I want to convince other people. So it's one hour for me to impress. A very special one hour. So that, that might be an interesting take. Alright. Renew the data store two times. Purchase item skills, etc. And you get to evolve a card. Elite battler, battler. Obtain one or more. Notice how these battles, though, they seem to have these conditions. And if you meet these conditions, then something special is supposed to happen. Um, but wait a minute. I used... I used... Oh, look at uh, concentration. What is this? Remove a card. Oh, okay. Because remember, though, I had those... Okay, see, I'm learning as I go along here. So you pick up these missions, like Slay the Spire, but there's these little, let's call them side missions... And if you do the side missions, then you have to go into this. You can get special rewards. So for doing the 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 concentration, I get to remove a card, and now I got to claim it again. That's definitely different than Slay the Spire. So that's pretty cool. So I got to claim this prize, and now I can remove a, a deck from my card, or from a deck from my card. That is too funny. 
Have I been drinking? What's in this? What's in this glass? We're gonna remove a card from the deck. Uh, so uh, we can take away. Boop, 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 boop. We like our defend. Gain three armor. Receive one shoot card. Um, shoot card lets you basically shoot, but overheat a bit. Uh, let's get rid of one of the regular attack cards for now. Preemptive strike allows you to also remove a card. But we can claim this later. We can claim this later. So it looks like there's five battle or four battles, and then you hit a boss battle, it looks like. So that's kind of interesting, which is kind of implied right here. So renew the data store store two times. Purchase cards, items, skill points, etc. So, and that will let you evolve a card, which would be to take it up to a whole new level, which I'm I'm always very excited to, to level up my cards. Obtain one or more force points during a battle. Each force gain increases damage dealt by attacks by one. Decreases at the end. But how do you get force? Uh, but that's an elite battle. Star elite battle is more difficult than normal as it offers greater rewards. All right, let's try this renew the data store, though. Data store is right here. So, unlike Slay Aspire, where you have like special store markers, here you can pretty much buy cards, do this when, whenever you want. Uh, ooh, this is interesting. Body armor. Plus one hit points whenever you play a constant card plus two overheat. Eh. Now, th notice how this is a yellow card. This is a purple card. Remember that combo meter uses color. So the more colors you have, the more complicated those combos get. It's not always a great idea to have a bunch of different... Uh, this is interesting. Evolve all cards until the end of battle. Instant. Unstable. Removes from the battle at the... It costs four. So if you don't use it, you lose it and it costs four. But holy cow, it normally costs 200, it's 100. Let's let's try it, let's, let's live life. That's a, holy cow, you'd never see anything like that in Slate Aspire, I don't think, maybe I just haven't seen it. But it's a card that essentially will will level up all your other cards, that's insane. Uh, so we got items here, and you got skill points. So another thing that's a little different than Slate the Spire, that kind of went over this in the tutorial, but you've got, you've got, you get skill gems that let you level up your, your character uh, and and so that gives it more of an RPG feel, not just a deck building feel, but you definitely got more of an RPG feel because you get to choose how you're going to level up your your character. So that's pretty cool too. Um, but I don't have a whole lot of gems, but I could buy more gems if I want. Renew the store two times. Oops. Uh, oh, got to attack these guys now. Oh, now this guy's weaken inflict one point of amplify amplification receive 50 percent more damage until the end of turn oh so he's going to flick that on me and life's going to suck and then this guy will is going to do three points of damage all right it wants us to do a red first but we don't have a red oh we do have that almighty bless card Ooh, let's do the bless card yeah upgrades all of our cards oh i should have defended first so i could defend exactly what he was doing whoopsie well poop oh but hey look radioactive went up to four radioactive that's pretty cool now we're gonna get hurt three points of damage there that hurts all right what's he doing he's gonna do two poison essentially he's gonna do eight damage we got blue blue purple so this is good because that guy defends for four so that gives us four we need a second blue card oh three armor that is so wrong i needed four armor to to, to defend that perfectly and then a purple card boosting shots plus two shield so as we remember you might remember before that's supposed to increase our future defend cards now what's another purple card we don't have another purple card that's what that sounds you get too many card colors in your deck and this becomes sometimes a little too hard to pull off so you can't let this be a complete uh you know thing uh if i i got seven shield if he's gonna hit me for eight i'm gonna lose one and it's doing the math because normally he does five damage but i'm vulnerable that status effect he had earlier Ooh, look at this shoots two damage five times plus two overheat Ooh, who can i shoot for 20 damage oh have a nice day now you're not shooting anybody i'll teach you so notice that the shield i i accumulated carries over so that's kind of interesting we can put two more shield up there, which will increase. Shield increases armor gained by defend cards uh, by one per point. So now this these defense cards are now going to give me seven. Holy cow, that's insane. Uh, we're just going to inflict radioactivity. Ugh. 
And we're supposed to use two blue cards next. And now I don't have a purple card. Let me just end the turn and see what happens. It's not like he can hurt me. I got enough defense to stop a truck. See, once a purple card, I don't have a purple card, so it's going to kill the combo. I'm not sure having purple cards, uh, purple cards in my deck is really helping me to combo a lot. Uh, let's see. A blue card, defend, enhance magazine. We'll do that. And that will give us some more red attack, more red attack. C -c -c combo he's dead. Everybody dies. We're going to receive our rewards. Radioactive to all enemies. Influx to radioactive. Okay. And a new card. Reorganize. Draw three cards to choose one of them and add it to your hand. Shuffle. Instant card. And it's another purple card. Mm, I, I, it'd be nice to sometimes have a... Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Why not? You know the purple card. Keep getting purples. Now, let's see here. We have a preemptive strike here, but that quest... That quest from... That quest that we had to... To, um... To do the store twice. I don't see that mission... Oh, here we go. In progress. Second chance. Review the data store two times. Okay. So that mission's there, because we picked that up by picking up that, that main quest. So if we go to the store, you can renew gold, go, uh, goods for free. I would imagine that goes up from zero. Uh, gain four armor. Remove all overheat. That's the Ice Age, and that's a defense card. That's kind of nice. That's a nice upgrade. Uh, I think I'll take that. And we can have two skill points for one fan. I don't want to use all my gold here. Uh, so if we renew the we renew the goods, we got a couple of different options here. Quick evasion gain, six armor, negative two overheat. So that's much better than a normal defense card. Boomerang. That's yellow. I see. I'm gonna try to stay away from yellows because I don't want more colors. Don't want more colors. Red. Predictive shot. Deal three damage. Draw three cards. Choose one. Then add it to your hand. That's your predictive shot. Um, I just love how these games kind of make you think. Uh, smart chip, plus five patience. Uh, let's try it. So let's go ahead and do the renew goods one more time. Of course, the price goes up. And let's go ahead and close this because now we should have completed that quest. Yep, review the... And that lets us evolve a card. So let's go ahead and claim that guy. And evolve one of our cards. If you mouse over it, it's going to tell you how it improves the card. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Reorganize, retain. Card stays in your hand at the end of the turn. That's interesting. Uh, okay, so if you upgrade Bless, it doesn't dis it doesn't delete if you don't, or it doesn't get trashed if you don't use it. It'll stay until you use it. So that's actually pretty helpful on that. Recycle, once used, consume will be added to the card. So shield... This boosting shields only usually works once, but if you recycle it, it can be used twice. I swear I saw that pop up more than once in my hand, though. Uh, so maybe I'm wrong. So normally this is the card you use want to use to crit. It normally does five. This would bring it up to ten total damage, and that in you know, a crit that means it will do twenty. So that's insane. Uh, so you got different things you can kind of upgrade here. We'll just pick, we will pick, we'll pick something. Let's evolve bless. Just in case. And now we can remove a card from our deck. So we'll remove, we've got an upgraded blue cards. We got reds. Uh, is that an orange card? Is that what, no, this is a blue card. We've got enough blue cards. Let's get rid of a blue card. Get rid of that defense card. Remove. There we go. So interesting. Interesting. Very, very interesting. All right. Normal battle. Use two instant cards during the battle. Recover 30% of your max hit points. We're not doing too shabby on hit points. I'm not too worried about that. Normal battle. Block 15 more damage using armor and battle. Receive one of three constant cards, which are yellow cards. We don't want those. Uh, elite battle. So it's a tougher battle. And it, max, keep your starting hit points and win the battle one time, and you'll receive one of three evolved instant cards. Let's see what that is. Let's see, let's see what evol a tough battle is like. Oh, oh, stars. Side effects. Enemies gain two force whenever this card goes into the used pile consumed. 
two force. I forget what force does, but it, it sounds terrible. Uh, so we've got the bless card. We like to use that because that's just gonna that's just gonna make all of our future game easier. Reorganizing. Draw three cards and choose one of them and add it to your hand. Uh, we can. He's gonna attack for three, so let's at least get some defense up because we're trying not to take any damage here. Uh, wait. Oh, those are side effect cards. Crap only. Let's see what these do. Plus two force to all enemies whenever this card goes into the used card file. Consume. Hindrance. Oh, what does hindrance mean? It's a hindrance card. Does that mean it's going to keep... I get the feeling that means it's going to stay in my hand until I get rid of it. But if I get rid of it, uh, it's going to increase the damage of their attacks. Love a Lee. Lovely. Uh, let's use a purple card. And... We could use another purple elite card. And we're going to gain three armor. And then we're going to hit one of these lovely gentlemen with radioactivity. And, oh boy, I, I feel like we have to get rid of one of these. Our, our whole hand's going to be taken up with, with these guys. We've also got a critical triggered. So we can really, t you know, take take one of these guys down a bunch of hit points. We got five shield. Ooh, we're not going to be able to block all this damage. Well, crap only. We're supposed to be blocking damage. Uh, let's let's shoot one. Shoot one. Select that one over there. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and defend some more. I don't want to take any damage. We're really trying to avoid damage. Oh, stars. Oh, oh. Oh, it actually increased all their damage by a lot. Oh, so plus two. Whenever this card goes into the used card pile. Oh, I see. I have to spin the points so that the card doesn't go into the used card pile because consume gets rid of it altogether. It's, oh, well, I done failed that side quest. All right, so we're going to get rid of this guy because we don't want them to get any stronger than they already are. Uh, and... We are definitely going to want to do whatever we can to increase... What is that? Oh, get rid of this guy, too. Good grief. Now we're going to have no energy to actually do much of anything. Oh, yeah. They don't call this a tough fight for nothing. Oh, ouch, ouch, ouch. There goes all my health. Oh, ouch, ouch, ouch. So much pain and suffering. And they keep adding these cards to my hand. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Whoop, oh boy. This is bad. This is very bad. So bad. How bad is... Oh, it's bad. This is bad. Um, I should have gotten rid of those cards. This is definitely a... This is definitely a... Uh, what you call it? An avalanche? A snowball that gets bigger going down? So by not taking this out at the beginning, my snowball is is going full full stream down the hill. And it's, it's going to be very, very painful. And uh, stuff. I have to get some armor here, though. I really do. I do, I do, I do. Mm. Yeah, I'm. this is going to hurt. This is going to hurt a lot. I'm down to 21 hit points. I'm down to 9 hit points. Ooh. So much pain. And those side effect cards are just so brutal because they take 2 energy out of your 5. Just absolutely painful um not good not good at all i don't know if i last this uh yeah no dead 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 end of run restart this stage your current golden deck will be retained oh really restart this stage and a roguelike mm. okay Well, that's awfully nice. Not used to that in a roguelike. All right, so we're going to bless the car. We're going to bless our deck again, because that's very helpful. Uh, and we're going to inflict some radioactivity on one of these guys. And 
I think that's all we can do on our first round. But yeah, they put these side effects. And if you don't get rid of them, it really buffs them up. Because it's plus two force, which essentially increases the attack power of all your enemies. Each one. That's not okay. Uh, let's see. Plus two shield recycle. Gain three armor. We'll take the armor. Shoot somebody. If we could even get rid of just one of these guys, it would be very helpful. So they, they got, they're getting through my little bit of shield. So much for beating that side quest, but I'm at least doing a lot better. Is the harp for show. Uh, my wife uh, does uh, does play the, uh, the harp. Uh, she hasn't been doing it for a while, but she does know how to play it. Uh, so it's just being stored down here at the moment. I, I really, I, I put no thought to my background. Like, let me set this up for streaming so that it impresses people. So there's really no thought to what's behind me. Uh, this is just my gaming computer man cave or, you know, basement. And so I've got video game stickers. I've got my behind me. I've got my cabinet full of action figures uh, and statues and whatnot. Most of them from video game lore and 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 whatever else you see in the basement is just what i live with here um don't really set it up i heard they're very hard to learn to pay yeah it's definitely a high high ceiling uh yeah definitely no doubt about it we got two four seven damage plus another one of those stupid side effects two four seven uh let's see let's inflict some more radioactivity on our good friend over here and we're going to defend and we're going to add that shield. And we've got nothing else we can do. Yeah. Parrying triggered. Oh, I didn't realize I did a good parry there. Nice. Won't complain about that. He's going to do that debuff again. He's going to do four points of damage. So if I get four shield, that would be helpful. I got a five card. Oh, here's a four. We can use that. First, we're going to do our purple. We're going to try to actually do a combo this time. We're going to gain the four right there. We can do another. Uh, actually, I don't know if I get rid of that debuff if it breaks my combo. Let's find out. Dope! It does. Learn something new every day. Oh, well, say lovey. I think we're close to getting rid of one of these guys. If you're just joining us, welcome. My name is Phil, aka JC Server with RPGamer.com. We are about halfway through this uh, this brand new Kaime series. I'm doing uh, the very first show, the inaugural show of one hour to impress the rogue edition this is uh, a new series that i'm doing and if you stick around after the show uh i will show you what this show is about with our 30 second trailer but if i start the trailer it kind of kind of interrupts the timer i believe all right so what do we have here we have we have a lot of damage three six 10 damage. 10 damage coming in. We got a 5 there. We got a 4 there. Um, we got all those stupid side effects. Let's get rid of that guy first. Uh, and then we get a purple. That combo meter is just not going to work for me here. So sometimes you just kind of ignore it. And you kind of do what you want to do. Get your shield up to 10 so you can block all that damage. Oh, well, I can take out that guy too. But... If I block exactly their damage, I stun them. I stun somebody. So I'm just going to block for now instead of killing this guy. See what happens. Oh, he died from the poison. Oh, I don't get to see what happens. All right, he's going to do three damage. I got three shield, and he's going to do that side effect thing again. So I should be able to, to just uh, focus on offense here. And get a combo meter thing going and we will be able to defend exactly his attack which will parry that trigger so he's stunned for a round that's a very interesting mechanic uh, well, yeah it's kind of just kind of cool uh this game definitely adds a few wrinkles to your to your slay the spire formula five did five protection there so we'll do that and we'll gain a little bit more armor and we will we'll just shoot him dead 
Bye bye. Bye bye. Prize is waiting for you in Z back. Two. Let's do an attack. And another attack. And a defense. And a purpley card. And of course, I don't get another purpley card. Because why would I get another purpley card? What was that second game after Rogue? Uh, that was that was a little quick uh, capture from um, uh, Children of Morda. Children of Morda. So that one is... I've already put enough time in that to say that's Im impressed me. If you like Hades, you should be playing Children of, of Morda. Unless you just hate pixel gra you know, the pixel graphics look. Uh, but it, Hades and, and Children there's a lot in, in common there. There really is. Uh, so, uh, let's see here. We should just be able to kill him, one would think. Uh, we're just gonna keep getting some attack cards in here. Just die. You can just die now. You got no life left. You can die. Alright, that probably took too long, but that was an elite battle. So... Uh, evolve all shooting cards in your hand. Now, what happens if you evolve a card that's already been evolved? We've already got a, uh, yeah, we're not going to do that one. Damage conversion. Gain overheat equal to the damage received instead of losing hit points this turn. Ooh, that would put you overheat very quickly. We're going to skip those cards. We don't, we don't, there's none of those, there's none of these cards we like. It's not like Slay of Spire, apparently, where you get extra gold if you skip. Uh, gold and skill points are not receivable. Continue without receiving rewards. Yeah, because we played those two, we're skipping the card. Next. All right, so now we're up to boss battle. And, okay, so here you get to pick which side quest you want, because you're going to get a boss battle no matter what. Achieve a combo one time, you get three extra skill points. We like skill points. Uh, we could lose some of our hit points back. Or Precision's trigger three times gives you more max hit points. Precision's precision activate when you do deal no overkill damage to an enemy. Once activated, 50 gold is acquired. Oh, wait, so any time you do exact damage to an enemy, you get 50 gold? Wow, there's games within games on this. I'm going to try for the skill points, though. I'm, I'm a big fan of extra skill points. Uh, the second game shown after Rogue. Wait, was, wait, the, wait, first there was Rogue. Then I believe it was Children of Morda, which is the action game that looks very pixelated. And then the card game after that was Monster Tray. So, because maybe I didn't understand the question uh, properly. Uh, this is a boss, and he looks very mean. And all these guys are going to do crap tons of damage. Oh, these are all shielded guys. They're all shielding. So we're not doing lots of damage. We're just going to... Uh, we're just going to... They're just going to shield up. Which maybe I will shield up too. A bit. Three armor, gains a shoot card, gains a shoot card. Five, yeah, gain overheat. Oh, let's shoot one of these bugs. Shoot a bug. And we need a purple card, bless. Oh, and of course I don't have enough energy for bless. Good thing, uh, good thing, ooh. I thought we upgraded this so it doesn't, oh yeah, yeah. It's not going to get rid of. It doesn't, it does, doesn't have the little thing on the bottom that says it's going to go away at the end of this turn. So it is upgraded. Well, we're not going to get another another purpley card. So we're going to just use up the rest of our energy here and build up some defense. You have pretty high defense numbers. Pretty easy in this game. Nope, you got English language fails. Well, my understanding late at night fails too. All right, so let's see here. We've got a red, blue, blue. They're going to do some damage. And what is this plus sign? He's going to heal? He's going to heal himself. Oh, what a waste of his turn. That's 8 plus 6 is 14. I got 16 shield. Nothing to worry about there. He's got 7 shield. And, of course, he wants a red card, and all I've got are purple cards in my hand because, of course. Uh, let's throw... Let Oh, bless. Get the cards up upgraded. So that's going to use our turn, but that upgrades our deck for the rest of the fight here. 
All right, so they're going to do eight points of damage, and you're going to heal and defend eight points of damage there. Not the end of the world. I got two defense. We want a red here. So go ahead and hit him for red, and he wants us to use two blue cards. So let's go ahead and use two blue cards and get a combo going. So now we can automatically, uh, we can double our automatic shooting here. Uh, and... And, 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 and. Oh, it requires two energy. Not fair. Ooh, do I hold on to the critical for next round? I hope I get it. Hmm. I probably could. Probably could, but then I'm wasting eight points of damage I could be using. So we're going to do that instead. Children of Morta looks more manageable than Hades. Uh, Children of Morta gets pretty rough, but I I think it's a, it's a smidgen on the slower side if I, you know, because I play both uh, for a few hours, at least with Hades, and Children of Morta I probably put in 10 hours. Um, so I do plan to do more coverage of, of Children of Morta. Uh, I, in fact, it might even be on the list of things to do playthroughs of, I can't remember. It's definitely on the Wheel of Rogues, if nothing else. Uh, we have blue, purple, what's this guy doing? Gaining five force. Oh my stars! That is not good news. Ooh, that's that's ooh, that's muy bad, muy bad. All right, all right. Let's focus here. We want defend. We got defend, and we got an evolve shot card. So we will do this. We need. We got blue. We got purple. We've got take that I will take this we need another blue card so let us defend again uh, to get rid of that overheat and then we will shooty shoot shoot this guy here that's gonna activate our combo and we could finish him off we've got nine defense he's gonna hit for six I hate the fact he's gonna buff himself up Let's go ahead and finish the, by finishing off a guy really is very helpful in these games to have a guy who's dead. So let's go ahead and and can't use that because I don't have enough energy. Of course, when I need you, you don't have enough energy. All right. Uh, 90 hit points. This fight's going to take a while. Did you play? Well, 90 hit points plus he keeps defending himself, which isn't helpful. He's got 14 plus 17, so he's got 31. Uh, did you play mouse, keyboard, or controller with Hades Morta? Uh, with controller, I want to say controller on those. I want to say controller. Even though I play like Diablo with a mouse and keyboard, I feel like those games are more actually twitchy base, and it just it doesn't quite have as many skills. So I think uh, as as Diablo. So I think I used I think I used a controller on both. Uh, after playing Cat uh, Cat Quest One Two with keyboard and mouse. I play those with it as well. Yeah, I, I, it's very close. Like, I see it going either way. Peter says, I'm reviewing all my factories in Satisfactory. I've refactoried <laughs> three of my buildings so far. Oh, my gosh. No, that's horrible. You should just come play uh, Factorio with us. All right. We are on a red attack card here. So let's try to do that. And we will... Remove all overheat or gain an armor or gain an armor. And we'll shooty shoot shoot. Yeah, that'll teach that bug. And then we got to use a purple card next. But of course, we're out of energy. So there's that. Well, so now he's going to hit with 14 because he got that, that buff. Oh, that's terrible. All right, we need to use a purple card so we can get our combo. And we'll pick up pick up this. Now we've got our automatic shot. Let's get rid of this guy here. Bye bye. So at least his little little froggy henchmen are gone. Hopefully he's got no weird uh Oh, what's this? Limited defend mana stackable. Inflict energy onto the limit energy onto the player if the player has armor at the end of turn. Constant. Minus one mana at the beginning of every turn. Eliminate upon activation. 
I'm not super sure what that means, but it sounds horrible. Uh, we'll go ahead and defend ourselves because he's going to do 14 points. Uh, 20 armor debt. You could even finish this before the timer's up. Oh, sounds like a challenge. Can we finish this before the timer's up? All right. Uh, let's take a look here. 16 times 2. We need to end this with 12. 12 armor. And let's give him some poison. What I'm hearing is, Phil, stop talking. Kill things and kill it quickly. Uh, let's give him some damage here. That's going to give us heat. Got one energy left. We need a five. Get some defense up. We're still going to take some damage, but not as much. Ouch. Poor poor lady's getting all beat up. Uh, we need a purple card. Let's reorganize and get ourselves a new... Uh, a new attack card. So we've got blues already. Let's go ahead. He is going to do... Oh, gain more force, of course. Fire. Fire. And defend. C -c 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 combo Uh I still don't know. I still don't know this limit defend mana stackable. Flicks limit energy onto the player if the player has armor at the end of turn. Minus one mana. So basically I'm supposed to have minus one mana because because I've got armor. Well, I'm not going to forsake armor to avoid one mana. That's that's silly. Uh, we're going to keep stacking some armor here. Oh, but wait. We have critical hit and we got our best weapon in the car. Oh, we don't have enough energy. Well, crap, Oli. Oh, we can poison him some more. We do like to poison our guys. Oh, the poison goes down by half. I'm thinking like uh, poison. It says radioactive. I keep calling it poison. But in... It's Slay the Spire only goes down by one point a turn. Here it goes by half, so... Hmm. All right, he's going to defend for some 10 more. Yeah, he does start me off with only four energy because of that. How rude. All right, something to keep in mind, if nothing else. I need an attack card, so please give me an attack card. Thank you for attack card. That's the one I need because that does the most damage. Have a nice day. Uh, give me another attack. Shabam! Combo triggered. And he's down to 33 hit points. We got 11 minutes on the clock. Are we going to finish this fight? I have been challenged. I hear my audience loud and clear. Less talking, more killing, Phil. Uh, we are going to get ourselves a little... Oh, he's going to do 16 points of damage. Holy crap, holy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. 16 points is going to hurt a lot. We need to get all the defense we can get. We need a defense up. Oh, Ice Age is good. Aha, 17. Oh, I wish I had gotten exactly 16. Because that would have done that 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 skip a turn thing. Got to pay attention to this stuff. All right, he's going to do 7 times 2. That's 14 points of damage. So we'll keep that in mind. 14 points. Let's go ahead and do some damage there. Let's get our defense up. 4-4. Four, four. We'll get that up there. And then a purple card. Let's just choose a card. Well, we're down to two energy, and that takes one energy just to choose a card, but it will activate our combo. Decisions, decisions. If we can get to 14, we have 5 plus 5 is 10 plus 4 is 14. Let's do this. Let's get to 14. Skip, screw the combo. Let's make him lose a turn with any luck. B -b -b Perry! He skips a turn. Yes. Time to go to town. Oh, yay. I do need to get another attack card in my deck. So let's grab that guy. And if I could get my... Hmm. We'll, uh... Can use a blue card to get a free critical, so... Oh, good. Got the best card for a critical, too. c, -c, -c combo Look at that, boys and girls. And we are just... Four! Down to four hit points with nine minutes left on the clock! And they said it couldn't be done. Boss down. Shabam. You are watching the show. Acquired a trophy. Ooh, we got gold. We have skill. We have an item. Oh, you know, I keep forgetting. I did the same thing on Slate Aspire. 
We could have used these these items to help get through them. Whoopsie. Uh, oh well. Uh, can I can attain more items because our slots are full? Uh, that's a shame. Uh, what kind of card does this guy give us? Okay. Create instant. Creates two random instant cards and adds them to your used card pile. The cost of these cards is zero for the duration of this battle. Ooh. Liberation. Gain three armor. Remove all debuffs. Meh. And then this orange card. And we're using purple cards. So I don't want to add an orange card, I don't think. Peer deals two piercing damage. All enemies before if you have over here at the beginning of your turn, consume. Absorption. Reduces the mana cost of this card equal to the number of high cards. Uh, that, that's let's just do this one. Next. Oh, we we jumped through. We jumped through the hole. And and we've cleared we've cleared a boss. Mission one completion rewards. Oh, there we go. There's our three skill points. Okay. And this is the last battle of each chapter. That was the boss we beat. It looks like to me I'm on chapter two. I don't see anything. Oh, here it is. Chapter displays the current chapter. There are a total three chapters. Click to see your score. Oh, okay. Huh. Now I'm kind of curious if I click home because there was that other character that was locked and it said you had to make it to chapter two i thought All right so if we do new journey and kill the boss of chapter two. oh you got to kill the boss of chapter two i was all excited you gotta you gotta you gotta kill the boss of chapter two Oh, crap. And then I just lost that last run. I, I, yeah. I mean, it did kind of warn me, to be fair. It did kind of warn me. So, I only got seven minutes left on the clock, but I think I think we had a good run there. We got through a boss. I think this is as good of a time as as, as any to kind of stop and, and talk about the game. But, uh, uh, I thought that was pretty cool. I thought it was a good run. We didn't even, Oh, we could, we could try to shield lady real quick, right? We got seven minutes. Let's do this. Divine Rage doubles your current punishment. Who knows what punishment is? Let's just do it. Uh, obtains two skill points plus three skill points. Okay. Uh, what do we have? We have an attack. Divine Rage doubles your current punishment. Return damage equal to punishment when attacked. Uh, removed. I, I still don't know what punishment is. Return damage equal to punishment when attacked. Is this like thorns in Monster Train where uh, but I have no current punishment. Shield. Gain two armor, one punishment. Punish returns damage. Okay, there we go. I think now we kind of understand what this is. Gain five armor, two faith. Receive a random god's answer card whenever your faith equals five and recover five hit points. Oh, well, that's kind of interesting. Gain. Well, we want more punishment. And then we want to get that faith that's going to give us a combo and we have two punishment if we divine rage we go up to four punishment so every time he attacks me now he should take four points of damage bam he took four points i lost two points of shield and i guess punishment goes away though Looks like punishment goes away. And monster train, your thorns. I don't even know if it gets reduced, but if it does, it's only one a turn. I'm pretty sure it doesn't just go away. Ah, uh, these games all play a little differently. You learn something new every day. Oh, uh, let's see. We got four hit points he's going to do to us. We're going to punish him for even thinking about it. Let's go ahead and hit him with some attacks. And, oh, we're out of energy. Can't do that one. All right. Yeah, block it with that shield. That's what you got that shield for. C -c 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 Combo! Recover one hit point plus two faith. So she has this ability to heal herself. I got some faith now. I want to see how much I get five faith. God's answer. What is God's answer? Gain ten armor and consume this card. Well, holy schmoly. Well, wow, that's a lot of armor if you ever need it. Okay, we're going to stop armoring and just finish this guy off. Precision triggered. All right. We got a skill point. We get an item. Amplify. That's going to do extra damage to them. And we got action reaction. Gain two more plus two punishment. 
compromise, gain 5 armor plus 2 faith, or consecrate, recover 1 hit point and 2 faith. Eh. These look like the basic cards I kind of already got. I'm not really sure there's a lot of awesomeness there. I don't know if I should buy one of those cards. Precision triggered one time you get to evolve a card, or trigger parry one time. The first attack card play in battle will deal double the damage. Is that like all the time? Is that like an artifact? Four minutes elite battle, can we do this? It's an elite floating drill. Well, you know, that's uh, that's that's what I've always wondered is, can I fight a big elite, elite drill? Uh, let's see here, double your current punishment. Which, do we have punishment? That's what that is. Concentrate, gain one hit point, and plus two faith. Oh, we need a purple card. Oh, that is a purple card. This is a purple card. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh, he's going to do two plus five is nine, so I could use a little bit more armor there. And that's going to be the end of that turn. Do you get anything permanent, or do you uh, start from scratch each time? I, I, I get the impression from my playtime with it so far when I went out and looked at it in the beginning screens and stuff like that it seems like you 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 can only unlock another another class by and that's pretty easy to achieve I think because you just have to get through the second boss um and um he's just gonna defend for it so we're just gonna attack a bunch but uh but but after you do that it looks like there might be ways to like earn some different outfits for the ladies uh, and I believe some of them are microtransaction as well. I'm not super sure. But that's about it. Like, each run is... And that's the same thing with Slay the Spire. Slay the Spire, there is no... Well, in Slay the Spire, I think you gain, like, overall account or character XP that, as he levels up, what it does is it adds future cards to the pool of available cards for future runs, which doesn't make your future runs any easier. It just gives them more variety. So that would make it, in my opinion, a rogue like and not a rogue light. A rogue light gets easier with every run because you have permanent progression that you unlock. So your character is effectively going to eventually win the game, no matter how bad your skill is in a rogue light. Oh, two minutes to beat this boss. We'll see if we can do it in two minutes. I think the timer is kind of a cool challenge. Can we do this? What are you going to do now? Titanium the next two to dealing damage to this enemy using attack cards. We'll deal two damage to the attacker. Oh, he has his very own version of thorns. How quaint. Um, let's get all the damage now while we can. Ooh, plus 10 punishment. That'll teach him. Uh, but it, it only lasts for one turn, doesn't it? Eliminate upon activation. So actually, he'll stay there until he hits me. Okay, that's, that's super cool. Um... You want me to use a shield, and then a purple, and then a shield. He's going to buff himself with that drill. That's fine. I don't care. And we have no purple card, so that's not very helpful. If I attack him, I'll take two points. And we'll go ahead and armor up a bit. And let him attack. 50 seconds. I'm not sure we're going to make it. Oh, he did take that punishment, though, from attacking me. So that was that was cute. Um, that'll teach him to mess with the lady. I got way too many defense cards. Keep attacking him. Show him his boss. Show him who's boss. Uh, he's going to attack. Oh, look at this. All defense cards. Are you serious? Uh, what can you do? We are just going to continue to punish and attack. And seven seconds left. I don't think we're going to do it. No. No, I don't think we're a new rogue. Oh, you got to change that message at the bottom. <laughs> Uh, whoopsie. Uh, but anywho, uh, yeah, but that's kind of the game. Uh, let's, uh, let's just finish up this guy so I can exit out and save real quick. Didn't quite beat the timer on that last one, right? But he should kill himself here. Oh, I thought he was going to attack instead he healed. I didn't read a card carefully. 
Uh, let me get some punishment on her. And now, can I finish him off? There we go. Beat a boss. I gotta remember to use these items. I am so bad at using items. Deal damage equal to your punishment multiplied by your faith. Oh, that looks interesting. But anyways, uh, that is Neover. So what do I think? Let's exit out of here, confirm, and flip over to the uh, what do I think cam. Because this game had one hour to press. Neoverse had one hour to impress. Uh, did it impress me? I, I think it's pretty... I Yeah, no. I mean... Wow, we did a lot there. Let's just digest it for just a minute. It it it, it clearly does its own thing from from Slay the Spire. Uh, it's it's definitely got some extra mechanics working in it. It's it's not a complete renovate uh, reinvention. It's you know Monster Trade. If you play Monster Trade, that one has. That one's definitely a, a, a different experience for Slay the Spire, even though it's still a deck building game, but, you know, has a lot of elements. It, it's like a Slay the Spire like, but Neoverse is very much Slay the Spire, just with some different rules and a completely different, you know, cover of paint and graphics. Uh, but with that being said, uh, you know, the argue, the question is going to be, does it do enough different uh, for for it to to feel like worth a purchase away from Slay the Spire. Mm. <sighs> yeah, I mean, obviously, it's very subjective for me personally. I think it does. I really, 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 really enjoyed Slay the Spire. I still enjoy Slay the Spire. I still like to go back and just do a run of Slay the Spire from, from time to time and just waste a couple hours seeing how far I can get. Uh, especially, I think, like, one of the classes they added after I stopped playing, uh, I've unlocked it, and I haven't spent enough time with it. So I still got some new experiences in there. Plus, every time you run a Slay the Spire, being, you know, that it's a procedural rogue, like, you get something different. But if you want... If you want to do like a slightly different flair, slightly different rules, and and the RPG mechanic of being able to pick your skills also is kind of cool. I we didn't get enough time in this hour to really dive into it to see how much of an impact that has on gameplay and how well the later levels are balanced out. But that's why this is called one hour to impress. The question is, does it impress me enough in this hour to be on the wheel of rogue and spend more time playing it to see, you know, how future runs go and how I feel about it. And I want to say, yeah, uh, yeah, I feel like it, it does deserve a spot right there next to Slate the Spire, you know, on the Wheel of Rogue. Uh, I think I really did enjoy it. But, you know, uh, what what do you guys think? Tell me, you know, here in, you can tell me here in the, in the, in the channel here before I log out. You can, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, do it down in the comments section. Come over and talk to about us on our Discord channel, rpgamer.com forward slash Discord. We'd love to hear from you. And, and let us know, uh, let me know what you think of Neoverse, if you played it at all. Uh, you know, I'd love to hear from you uh, about it. So let us know. But it seems like a pretty cool game and something I wouldn't mind putting some more uh, some more time into. And uh, unlock the third lady to see what how her class kind of plays out. I think you just spend not near enough time with the other two ladies, the first two ladies, see how, how well they are. So, uh, and it is a looker. Uh, you know what I think I think uh, I like you know well you know well designed sprite based graphics but there's also something to be said for for these kind of graphics have a little bit more time put into them the enemies are a little uninspired a floating drill really eh, I don't think the enemies are inspiring me I, I think Slay the Spire's enemies and we're gonna keep doing these references aren't we uh, but I think they were a bit better designed as far as how they looked but the enemies kind of have different things going on that boss threw me for a loop. Uh, you know, and it was interesting that when he killed me, it let me start the battle over again. And most roguelikes, when you die, that's the end of your run. I don't know if that's something that you can do over and over again or if it's just one time in Neoverse, but that's different. And I, that's different. That's, I mean, th that actually would mean it's it's not really... Uh, you know, fitting quite the, the, the core checkbox for a rogue, if you could just reload your sake. Well, it isn't reloading, it's starting the battle over again. But when you die, that does take away some of the impact of dying on a run. So I'll have to look into that a little bit further. Uh, but ultimately, for me personally, that wouldn't change the fact that it still impresses me. And I want to play it and try out its mechanics more and see if it has uh, more staying power. My initial impression is it's not quite as... 
balanced or designed quite as sharply uh, as Slay the Spire, but I think it's it's pretty it's it felt pretty decent. That boss gave me run for my money. I swapped out my strategies and I was able to beat him without too much issue. And in the first chapter, that's what you would expect. So it takes a later chapter though to see if some of those decision elements, like what skills you pick and how your deck evolves and how well some of that's balanced. And that usually takes multiple runs to get a feeling as a player, which takes at least a dozen hours. So we're not going to get that on an hour to impress, but there you go. Hey, if you like this kind of show, let me know what you think again, down comments or whatever have you, and maybe we'll, we'll shoot some more off of these. Uh, I think I will do more of these anyways, but, I, but I'll do even more. Uh, and I'll feel encouraged if, if you liked it. And if you don't like it, tell me why you didn't like it. And it might help shape some future ideas for future shows. But uh, until then, uh, my name is Phil, a.k.a. JC, serving from rpgamer.com, uh, your humble servant in adventuring. And I really appreciate you took the time out to watch this tonight. Uh, thank you very much. And have a great evening. Oh, Mon Moncappy's saying hi. Right, I'm logging out. If you hang out, Moncappy, I'm just logging out for the video, but I'll stay on the stream for a bit. So hold on tight.